the class we have in today is October 16th and welcome to class Yami. My name is Shondell and I live in Peoria, Arizona. So I hope you all had a great week and that you're all doing well. So today I don't have any complete I have one, I should say, one complete item and all whips and what I'll be showing you mostly is whips and what I've been up to and what I've made other than crochet or other than knitting. Anyhow, so let's get started. So I will be showing you what I've been I finished and the first thing I have to show you is my pumpkin so this is my pumpkin that I made I made three pumpkins so I would say three pumpkin in the last maybe two weeks or so but I made it I put out a tutorial on this particular pumpkin and this pumpkin is made in all single crochet see and this is the top and I have a thank you tag on it I think this pumpkin here this yarn was given to me by a friend so I can't tell you exactly what brand it is but I know for sure it's acrylic and I know this yarn here is wool and this yarn I had a cream color and I dyed it with Walton's what is it with the cake coloring I was trying my hands at dyeing so I made and I use it for the leaf and it has different dimension of green you can see different shades of green coming out so and then I put a little checkered ribbon on it so this is my pumpkin and you can go and check the tutorial I'll link it in the description box below and then I also made a little yellow one and this one I made a leaf too and this one is single crochet but this one is double crochet and I put, I had some chunky green and I just made a bow. So this is double crochet. You can use the same pattern for this, but just do it in double crochet. Okay. So that's my pumpkin and that's my finish make. I have an almost finished. Well, the cardigan is finished, but the embellishment is what is needed. So, I made this cardigan for my daughter. Look at it, guys. It's chunky and it's like, it fit her, it's up to her waist. If I could get her to try it on and insert some pictures, I will do so. So, let me see if I could pin it a bit somehow so you can see what it looks like. Okay? So, what are you guys working on? And. Um, how was your weather here in Arizona um, it's starting to get cool Not, we are in the morning about 56 and we're going up to the eye of today is 90 so this is the cardigan I just put a little pin on it I haven't washed it or blocked it or anything so I need to put on three button because it have three button holes okay so and the sleeve fit her up to here up to her elbow this cardigan if I had more yarn I would have make it longer and the sleeve longer but I bought this yarn from Hobby Lobby when they had clearance and I bought five balls 
I wish I could get some more. I went to see if maybe they're still carrying it, but they don't have it. So this is what it looks like. It's a very, I think it's a number six. And so let me show you. If I can get some more of this yarn, I wouldn't mind. I would pay for it. If there's anybody out there who have some of this yarn and would will be willing to part with it, I'll give you, let me see if I could find, I know I have the paper here, the ball band, so I can tell you exactly what it is. I know it's a yarn B yarn. And this is what the paper looks like. So it's sugar pom pom. And this particular colorway is my fairy tale. And the lot number is 635242. So this is what the ball band looks like. And when I bought it, I paid 128. It's 124 and it's a yarn me. And so if anyone out there is willing and they have some of this yarn and is willing to part with it, I'll leave my email in the description box and you can email me and let me know if you have some and you would like to part with it. Other than that, I will just leave it the way it is. She would have liked to have a longer sleeve and she wanted more puff. Like a more puff sleeve so this yarn particular yarn it's a number six and it it's a hundred gram and it has 52 yards and I had five balls so I think I probably needed about maybe three more balls to make the sleeve longer or two more balls to make the sleeve longer because it's by her elbow right now and if I get more, I probably lose out the bottom and make it longer. But so far, this is what it looks like. And like I always tell you guys, guess what happened? I don't have no matching buttons. All the buttons I have, if I show you how much buttons I have, I can't find three that's matching. And she told me she wants like a, a brownish color. I don't know. But pink and brown go. It have a bit of yellow in it and green. I was asking her maybe she wants me to put some yellow button but she said no she wants green and if I had more yarn I probably would pick up the neck and just make make it up more you know like a more like a rib neck so this is what it looks like I'll get her to try it on so you can see what it looks like on her so this is finish and this is knit and I'll show you this book that I'm getting I bought this book from Joann's and this book will give you all type of sweater types raglan and it give you from children to adult man and woman so and it will give you if you use a number five if you use a number four or a three or whatever size yarn it will give you how many stitches you need to cast on and so on so this is the book and it's all it's knitting so that's where i'm getting my sweater oh i dropped something anyhow forget about it i dropped one of my pumpkins so i guess you don't want to be in the video so yeah so that's all that i have finished odd for knitting and crochet so what am i working on i'm working on so many things so i'm working on so i showed you the i'm calling it a shawl it's just a shawl for you, you know, a rectangle shawl. I showed you it last week that I finished and I asked you what I should name, but I decided to call it the honeycomb shawl. So this is what I'm using. This is another clearance yarn from Hobby Lobby. 
and its fireplace comfort. It has it have 229 yards. It's a number four. I need my glasses. Sorry guys. I need glasses to see these numbers. Much better. It's a number four. It's seventy percent acrylic and thirty percent wool. It have two hundred and twenty-eight yards, two hundred and ten meter. For crochet needle hook, sorry, it's five point five. I'm using the recommended size of hook. And for knitting needles, it's four point five. This yarn is very soft, but the only thing, if you make a mistake, is very hard to frog. So let me tell you the colorway on this one. It's, this is, okay, let me see if I can find the colorway for this one. Um, oh, what's going on? under the umber so it's this is what it looks like and this i'm working on this tutorial right now for you and this will be this will call the honeycomb shawl so i'm working on this for next week tuesday so hopefully I get it done. This is what it looks like. I double it. And I have three balls of this yarn. The last time I had the, the other color was called, the yellow one was called the BZB. And I only had two balls. This time I have three balls, so I will be able to make it much longer. So I'm on my second ball, and this is what I have left. Let's see. This have some blues and oh, let me bring it a little closer so you can see. Very fall color. So tutorial next week. So this is what I'm working on. I enjoy working on this yarn. Very soft and everything. Just a bit, if you made a, make a mistake, it's very hard to frog. So if you're working with this yarn, just be mindful that, you know, when you make a mistake, it's a bit hard to frog back. Okay. I've been working on this shawl. This is my pattern that I'm bringing, coming up with. But... What I'm going to do, I'm not going to make a shawl in particular. I'm going to make a cardigan. But I'm using my the leaf pattern that I use for my poncho and for my leafy part shawl. I'm using that. And I'm making a... Making a cardigan. So this part here will be the sleeve. And then it would have one leaf pattern coming down the back. So I'm using for this 44 Street and it's color mustard. It's 70% acrylic and 30% polyamide. Each ball have 540 yards. It's a number three light. And a crochet hook is 4.5 and needles is 3.75. What I did with this particular yarn, because it's so thin, I use double, I double it, double it. So I had two balls and so far this is how far two balls take me. This, this yarn is also hard to frog. I think 
I frog, I, you know, because I'm coming up with the pattern, you know, something you make mistake and you want to go back. And I frogged and I lost a lot of it, the yarn. So today I went to Hobby Lobby to get some more yarn just to finish it. And instead of using the inside and the outside, I'm just going to use two balls and pull from both of them. So I got myself four balls and I had 40%. It was at, sorry, not 40%, it's 30% today at Hobby Lobby, my Hobby Lobby. And I pay about 12 something for the four balls. This yarn is very, very, very soft. It's surprising. I thought maybe it was wool until I read the label and realized it's acrylic. I don't know what they did to this acrylic, but it's very soft. I think, you see, when I find the yarn from Turkey, it's very soft. I don't know what they're doing to it, but whatever they're doing, it's so soft. So this is the color, and this is the ball band, and it's a yarn bee very nice yarn so hopefully by next week i will finish this and come back and show you this i this color i think it would look good on me anyhow we'll see what it looks like and how it turns out so i'll come back next week by the grace of god and show you what it looks like okay and let me show you uh, let me put it over my shoulders so basically it will be like that and then i'm going to continue and then i'm going to attach it here and then just keep going around and then anyhow i will show you when i'm finished so that's all work in progress and i have this yarn that i bought from michael's and Michaels were selling, they put these yarn on clearance. So this is what it looks like, like a donut. And it's called Eco Cozy. And I bought this, a yellow, a blue. And this is a, I think this is a mustard color. I have a, this mustard color. Let me get them out to show you what I'm doing. I have a drawer right here with some yarn. So these are three of the colors that I have. <laughs> and right now I'm working on this color. So I'm taking all these colors, guys, and I'm making a sweater for myself. I'm challenging myself. I don't like to make sweaters, large garments. Normally I would just make stuff for my daughter. But I decided, you know what, make something for yourself. So I'm using this. I use my book and get the measurement and everything, how much I should cast on. I'll tell you the size. This is a five bulky. The needle size it called for is a K, a 6.5. Oops, I'm reusing. Mm -mm. The needle is a eight millimeter needle and a 6.5 hook so i am using the recommended hook for the pattern so i'm using that and so far this is how far i am i'm just at the top now working the neck band and just increasing so I could come down, you know? So this is what it looks like so far. Did me it look a bit small? I don't know. Or maybe when it's all finished, we'll see. If it doesn't fit, I'll give it to my daughter. Or maybe I need to change the hook size. I think right now I'm using, yeah, it's a 6.5 hook I'm using. And let me see something. I know the book said to 
I will tell you this I said along the side. Okay. The book set to cast on with 5.5 and I use a 6.5 and I'm going and it said when you finish casting on and do your ribbon you change and go to a 5.5 but I start the ribbon with a 6.5 and I'm going to continue the entire body of the cardigan with the 6.5 so I should you know it should work out we'll see and I'm using my book again for that. This book, if you want to try knitting sweaters, try this book. It's very easy, very easy for you to understand because it gives you all the stitches and everything. So, I'm working on, see? So this is what it looks like so far. I did my ribbon for my neckband and I'm coming down, increasing the raglan to make the sleeves and so on so you can see my my raglan right here so I'm not gonna be in any rush to finish this because I want to finish the thing with for the tutorial for you and I want to finish the auto crochet cardigan and see how it works out so for now that's all I'm working on and it's in one of my one of my bag that I make so you see I make this bag I bought this fabric from Walmart and then I use a cord dry one of my husband old jeans and make it and I line the back well, you don't need to know that anyhow so I keep my projects in a bag so I have it here in this bag okay so for now that's all I'm working on I have and then I'm also working you know when I was want something mindless I worked on the I'm taking part in Priscilla's challenge, make scrap yarn. So when I need something mindless, I leave her link in the description box below. And you can go over and check her out. She's a very pleasant person. I like listening to her and I like watching her videos. So you can go over and check her out and take part in the make scrap yarn challenge. So. I probably should show you that the progress so let me get it yes so I have I want to show you the progress I hope I got the right bag <laughs> I don't think I got the right bag guys I have to go get the bag sorry so okay guys let me show you the progress I made on my make scrap yarn challenge blanket and I'm using at first I was saying it's a seed stitch but it's not the seed stitch I think the seed stitch oh I think this is the seed stitch I was saying moss stitch but this is not a moss stitch I think this is a seed stitch or rice anyhow I'll check it and I'll put it in the description and what I'm doing I'm making my yarn I take in my scrap attaching it and then I would make it into a ball like this and then I will crochet this in chain and then I will take the chain and make the blanket so guys if you could feel this blanket it's so heavy 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 blanket my daughter already says she wants it so okay i don't know if not if i can show you the entire thing i'll lay it out and take a picture and insert it so i'm just going to show you the colors so this is how let me see if i could fold it maybe 
and you can see so you can see see so I almost I think I would say I'm almost at half way where I want to be so I'm going to continue working on it it's very heavy guys very very heavy if you want to make a very heavy blanket try this if you want me to show you how I'm doing this do you a tutorial on it let me know leave it in the comment comment or and say well show me how you're doing your make scrap yarn blanket and I will show you because this is the way I choose to do it and if you want to make a very heavy blanket using four ply yarn worsted weight yarn I will show you how to do it so so far this is what it looks like and using your scrap it's easy all you gotta do is keep attaching scrap and you get rid of so much of your scrap and get a very nice heavy blanket so that's my make scrap yarn blanket so at work last week one of the ladies know that I like to crochet she know that I crochet and knit so she's been bringing me yarn because she works at a church and they were doing a lot of crochet crocheting and stuff like that but it seems like they stopped so what she was doing bringing a lot of yarn and a lot of sorry for the crinkling guys sorry a lot of yarn and a lot of you know so what she did in this bag that is making all the crinkling noise last week she brought me lots of lots of granny squares let me show you the bag so this bag is for lots of granny squares and i also have some white ones that i washed so let me show you a few so they already started to attach this looks so much like four it's about two strips so i don't know yet what i will do with it so this is some that she brought me i don't think they have any more of those so that's just two strip i'll see and then these are some that she gave to me very gated and most of them in this bag is trimmed with black so lots of lots of granny and they she gave me this i don't know what they were making with this but it can't be a uh, scrunchy because it's not stretchy but she gave me those see and these some of these probably need the black around it so i will continue adding the black around these and here we go again finish the blanket and see what it comes up to be and when i finish that i'll come back and show you what it looks like so those are all my bag of granny squares so tell me guys do you like making granny squares so last week at work it was thursday and we had blackout at our workplace because someone hit down a lantern post drive into a lantern post and blow the transformer so we had blackout <laughs> oh boy so that's what excited was in my for my week nothing else excited just you know i'm glad it's getting much cooler here you know we can go more walking but not only that guys sometimes i want to go walking or i will just go outside on the patio and sit down and the mosquitoes i don't know where they came from it seems like we have a lot of mosquitoes this this fall so i guess somewhere somewhere the mosquitoes are breeding and we are getting mosquitoes anyhow 
So how is the weather where you are? Are you all getting cold? Are you getting snow already? What's going on in your where you live? Anything excited happening? Well, anyhow. So yesterday after I came home from work and everything, I had some downtime and I had some charms and stuff. And I decided that I'm going to make some stitch markers. So I'm going to show you a few and I'm thinking about listing it in my Etsy shop for sale or you know if any one of you are interested in any of these stitch markers and these are not only stitch markers they're needle reminders because why I say needle reminders if you notice I have some numbers on the needles so sorry on my stitch markers so let me bring you up a little closer so you can we can show you sorry it's not avalanche it's just me shaking the so here I hope it focus sorry Sometimes this thing don't focus when you need it to focus. And when you don't need it to focus, it focus. Okay. So these are some stitch marker. Here you have one of my paper beads and you have a milk, a Santa hat. Let me see if I can turn it around. Okay. A Santa hat some milk and a letter to Santa. I had the cookies <laughs> and I made the cookies. So, because these are charm that I had for a while and I decided I'm going to make some. So you see, you can get these a particular one have size four and the four mean, I didn't put millimeter because it will make the stitch marker more heavy and much longer. So I put four, so you would know that's a size four needle, and I have a six, and you'll know that's a six millimeter, and then a five millimeter, and then a, I put this one here, have a letter on it, and it's all these will have what it means at the back, like five millimeter, four millimeter. So I think the L is a 6.5. Let me make sure that I get it. I have my chart here okay the L is a eight millimeter but I will write everything on the back of this so you will know that so what do you prefer letters some people prefer the letters some people prefer the numbers so I'll show you a few here you have letters and this is F and a G F and H sorry and I'm calling this my retro so you have the little TV like you used to have back in the days and you have a little music instrument like a record player or something phone I don't know what they call it but you can see so these are all stitch marker and needle reminder and so you those are two I'm not going to show you it's a lot it would and here you have these these are some of my paper bead and I have a butterfly and because I used to make jewelry back in the days I collect a lot of glass beads so I took some of my glass beads that I have been collecting and also make stitch marker here you have one that is a bee so you get a bee a butterfly and a little heart and a little yellow so these are all stitch markers needle reminders and you get four on this here and I'm calling this one back to school because this one is so pretty and it have the backpack 
and this one's the English and a little page book like a book and then I put of course one of my glass bead stitch marker so here it is and you get you get an H, a E, a 7 and a number 7 is a 4.5 they don't have any letters for number for a 4.5 so I just put 7 which is a 4.5 and a G oak and you know the G oak is a 4 millimeter the H is a 5 and the E is a 3.5 so these are all one set well, let me show you I, I have I'm not gonna show you all of them here I have some owls so I have owls and I have one of my glass beads and this is very pretty I wish I could just it would focus it won't focus come on I know guys you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do but you can see what I'm going to do I'm going to do a separate video just for the stitch markers and I'm going to show you each one of these stitch markers so you know I have Christmas see these are all Christmas so just a sneak peek here Christmas and they're all stitch reminders and stitch markers because they have the letters or the numbers on it what I'm going to do guys I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to do a small little video so I show you each individual stitch marker so if you're interested I leave my email at the end and you can you know tell me which one you want I'll tell you the prices and so on if not i'll list it on my etsy shop so thank you guys for spending some time with me and of of course i do appreciate you and and i'm thankful for you spending some time with me i must say i forgot guys to say welcome to all my friends all my new subscribers and welcome to all my returning subscribers i hope you will come again and continue to watch my video and you have i will be an inspiration to you so thank you and until next time remember to be kind until next time bye <laughs>